I've heard quite a few horror stories from people who had an SD card fail on them early on in their photography career and now have a distrust of memory cards. Some even refuse to consider a camera that only has one SD card slot because of that. While I'm not saying that these four tips will prevent data loss, they are generally recognized best practices for data management. So if you're just starting out with an entry-level camera, or if you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to protect your client's images, then make sure you follow these four recommendations. Also, if you find this information helpful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Click the notification bell if you want to be alerted to any future uploads. So my first recommendation is to buy quality memory cards. With the overabundance of choices available on the internet, you may be tempted to go with an off-brand or a too-good-to-be-true deal on a high-capacity card. The best case scenario if you buy a knockoff or counterfeit card is that you get one that doesn't meet its rated transfer speed and makes you wait on the buffer before taking any more photos or stops recording video after just a few minutes. The worst case scenario would be if the manufacturer faked the capacity, which is a common practice for really cheap, abnormally high capacity cards, and your camera will attempt to write data to it even after it's actually full. This could result in a total loss of everything on the card. So my recommendation would be not only to stick with name brands, but also to buy them from reputable retailers that you trust to make sure you aren't buying a counterfeit memory card. Number two is format the card in the camera it will be used in before any big shoots. So different camera models may use slightly different organizational structures for saving files. And while most modern cameras use XFAT or FAT32 file structures and should be compatible with each other, formatting a card in the camera will be used in before a shoot will ensure that the camera is properly set up to write data to the card and ensure that the block size on the memory card is optimized for maximum performance on your camera. Formatting a card does erase its contents, so make sure you've backed up your files to your computer and preferably to an additional external drive before formatting. Number three is do not delete individual photos in camera. There is a delete button on the camera, but don't do it. This little three inch screen on the back of the camera just isn't big enough to determine if a picture is salvageable or not. Or worse, you could accidentally delete a good picture or video. Just wait until you can import the pictures on your computer before making any culling decisions. If for whatever reason you do delete a good picture or video, don't record anything else on that card. There's a chance it could still be recovered with special software as long as no new data is written to the card. The last tip is to replace your memory cards regularly. So flash-based memory has a finite number of read-write cycles that each sector can endure. There's not much data out there with real-world numbers of the write cycles for consumer-grade flash storage or the life expectancy. So just to be safe, I would recommend replacing your primary cards every few years. Now, the life expectancy is based on write cycles. So if you're filling a card every single day, it would be best to replace it more often, like every year. Or if you do photography part-time and only have a gig every few weekends, the card may be reliable for you for a decade or more. The important factor to keep in mind is that you need to replace the memory card before you start having issues with it. Like I said in the beginning, there's not a way to completely eliminate the chance of data loss, but as a photographer and filmmaker, it's my responsibility to do everything I can do to protect my client's images. Do you have any tips that I missed? Feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to share this video with any new photographers or filmmakers that you know. 